everyone, it's Shelby from Learn Thai with Shelby. Today, we are gonna talk about 10 common phrases in daily life to make you sound more Thai, sound more natural. Some phrase, if you translate word to word, it might doesn't make sense if you're looking for something formal in serious situations such as a business meeting or meeting your clients. This is probably not the right for you. So if you're ready, let's get started. The first one, Jok Khao. Jok Khao. Khao. With low tone, not Khao. Some of you probably know the word Khao. Khao means news. Jok means to finish. So Jok Khao literally means the news is finished. We say Jok Khao during a conversation where you have nothing to say, speechless. Let's say you and your friend sit at a cafe and then a pretty girl just walks by and you just say, damn, she is super cute, I wanna get to know her. And your friend says, dude, I see she is wearing a red ring. And then you say Jok Khao, that means end of the conversation, end of the story. We should start talking about a new subject. แบบนี้ก็ได้เหรอ? The difference between that is แบบนี้ก็ได้เหรอ? means can you do that? And แบบนี้ก็มีเหรอ? means unbelievable. With this expression, you can say when someone does something unbelievable. For example, while you're working in the office on Friday evening and then your boss just comes to you and tells you you have to come to work tomorrow which is normally you don't and you don't get paid for work on Saturday either. You can say แบบนี้ก็ได้เหรอ? or แบบนี้ก็มีเหรอ? in situations like this. นั่นไงกะแล้วเชียวว่าแล้วเชียว There is no difference between all of them. You can use whichever you want. It means Someone tells you or talking to you about something that's exactly what you thought or tell you to do something or it means I was right. Your best friend told you he just broke up with his girlfriend and then you say Wow, now chill because you knew they are always fighting. Put me tan ka kam. Put me tan ka kam has a similar meaning to speak of the devil in English. But put me tan ka kam means something happened immediately after you just said that word. Today is overcast. It seems like it's gonna rain. And then it just starts raining. Ni ku tong ru te mai literally means do I have to know this? We say this expression when someone tells you about something that you have nothing to do with it. One day in the morning, your friend just tells you without any hint that she got a lot of messages from guys on Tinder. And then you just roll your eyes and respond with Ni ku tong ru te mai. Ao ti sabai zai. This phrase is related to the previous one. It means whatever makes you happy. You can say when someone tells you a story or a decision that you don't agree with them 100% but you're just lazy to argue with them. And then you say to make them stop asking or stop telling their story or their decision. Tamnan has a similar meaning to the previous one but less offensive. This phrase can be used to emphasize the sentence that you just said and then followed by Tamnan at the end. My solution for this month is work out seriously. We also say Tamnan to respond or react to a statement. Your co-worker might say, I feel fancy for Mexican food today. And you can respond with Tam Nan, that means, I'm in, I agree with whatever you say. A Rai Pramani. A Rai Pramanan means something like this, something like that. It's a term that just used the same in English. Kam Diao Lui. Kam Diao Lui. If you translate word to word, it means just one word. When you want to say this phrase, you have to say a word that has one or two syllables after Kam Diao Lui. Pra Chum Pen Yang Ba. How was the meeting? Kam Diao Lui. Nui. Just one word. Exhorted. 
So this expression can be used when you don't want to talk much about something or someone. Just describe it in one word. The last one, แล้วไปแล้วไป This doesn't mean have gone already. แล้วไป has a similar meaning to what a relief in English. We say แล้วไป after we hear something is not like we expect it to be, but in a negative way. A conversation between a couple. Hey, my friend told me she saw you last night with a girl, and then the boy would say she's my client. It's not what you think. And then the paranoid girlfriend would say, "Leo Pai." Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoy the video and try to use them with native speakers. They will impress for sure. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.